Hello, it was a great day out there in St. Charlie Town. Hello, and how are you? This is Shenandoah one more time. I tell you what, I got to get out there on the Katy Trail today. Um, had another unexpected visitor, but I enjoyed that visit for a while and got out there on the trail and ran her up from uh, the uh, um, Sable Park and ran all the way up to uh, um, the uh, uh, landing. Let's see which landing is that. That's um. Oh come on. Blanchett's Landing. Yeah, that's it. Uh, ran up to Blanchett's Landing. Talked to a couple there. Been riding on the motorcycle. Took a break. Uh, took a break on on the motorcycle there. Sat there and looked at the river for a little while. And then uh, I went on up to uh, um frontier park and there was a couple of good old boys playing guitar i tell you what they were good sorry fellas i forgot your names uh i was gonna mention them said i was gonna mention them but i forgot your names so i can't rightly mention them but they were good i recommended to them to watch um august rush good movie and uh the people that were sitting around watching them, uh, they all, they all knew the movie and said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight, too. So, anyway, uh, that was all fun and good. You know, you meet several people along the way on the trail, and I can't wait till uh, this summer when I get my, uh, uh, when I get my camera. That way I I can just go along and I'll I'll meet the people and and give you all a chance to see who they are and, and what we do have to talk about because you know the it's uh times like that that you that you uh, uh really really would like for other people to see uh see how I mean like you. you I like to watch people and, and it for me uh sharing other people with you would, would be a great idea for me and that's basically what I was going to when I was wanting to do this summer uh and of course you know I always get their permission before I put them on the film I I mean I would definitely put a get their permission before I put them up on this uh, that's like the two guys down there playing guitar. I really, really hate the fact I forgot their names because, uh, they were good. They were good. And they said, they said they would appreciate the recognition. And, well, doggone it. Anyway, um, uh, my, uh, visitors stayed for quite a while. I appreciated that. Uh, Usually, when you get people to come over to the house and talk to you, you like for them to stay a while and enjoy their company. And as much as I did, I uh, was going to go to a train thing today, but I wasn't really into the train thing. Uh, then I was going to go down to the uh, boat um, casino, but I didn't quite make it down there y either. Uh, started getting cold on me uh you, after you sit around and talk to people for a while uh you end up the uh time goes by and as time goes by you start losing your temp temperature again not temper temperature you start losing your temperature again now i'm gonna i am moving around a little bit more tonight well Maybe not a little bit more tonight, but a little bit um, less tonight. But I tell you what, I'm going to probably start moving around a little bit more tonight because right now I've got a pin. Uh, 
in the back of my shoulders, right between my shoulder blades. And, well, that's all right. It just went away. Got a good stretch on it. There goes that. There we go. Just going to say that. Well, pfft. I just put it up and it fell right back down. Ah, there we go. Whew. Well, I don't. I didn't have anything written out for us today, so um, I guess I can talk about some of the good old days. Actually, what I'll do, I'll I will say a prayer. I want to thank you, Father, for all that wonderful weather we've had for the last two days. I mean, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, the uh. uh People were out and about. Didn't get to go to church this morning. Got a late start on the uh, um, uh, on my bow routine and everything. So uh, I was running late on that. So I didn't really get out of the house. Basically, my uh, um, guest arrived around uh, twelve thirty. Um, I wasn't really done with my routine until 12 o'clock, so my visitor was around at 12.30 and didn't get out of here until around 3.30, so you know how that goes. You don't want to uh, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. Makes no matter. Never mind, I guess. Uh, but that being said, was I in the middle of a prayer? I may have been in the middle of the prayer. Yeah, I still wanted to thank, thank you, Father, for the, um, blessings of the wheelchair that I've got to where I can be able to get out there and, and uh, go up and down the trail and, and, uh, bless people with my presence and let them bless me. And, Father, I just hope that each and every person that is seeing this blog get, is blessed by it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, that being said, uh, there was a story. There is a story about this feller who uh, um, who grew, uh, lived in a small town and... Uh, him and his wife lived together, you know, and and uh, he, uh, actually there's a song about it, and I'll just go ahead and sing the song. It's, uh, it's, um, I think it's called Susie Gal. That's what it's called. It goes something like this. Well, Lucy licked the ladle and a diner rocked the cradle and it's, Farewell, my Susie gal. Goodbye, my honey. I'm sitting in the corner, and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal. I'm gone. Well, I got a wife around here. She got corns on her toes as big as goose eggs. But that don't affect her appetite none. She can eat a dozen biscuits and a gallon of molasses any old sitting down. Well, we were out of uh, molasses so we were out of uh, cornbread and molasses so my wife sent me up to the confederate uh, pharmacy and I headed on up there and I got there and I realized I didn't have nothing to carry him in but my hat so I loaded it up and I put her back on my head and whoa muscle spasm I put it on my head, and I started down the street. Well, pretty soon I felt something come crawling down the side of my face, so I uh, took that in, and it was good. It was molasses. And then pretty soon I felt something come crawling down the other side of my face, but I didn't take that in because, well, it was a fly. 
No, Lucy licked the ladle in and down and rocked the cradle and it's farewell, my Susie gal. Goodbye, my honey. Sitting in the corner and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal. I'm gone. Well, on my way back home, I come around through the front yard there and I met up with that bulldog. Well, me and that bulldog, we never did get along very well so we went out we went out that yard going nippity took now some of you city folk may not know what i mean by nippity took but that just means that he nipped and he took the whole seat out of my brand new pants whoa look see lick the ladle in and down and rock the cradle in it's farewell my susie gal Goodbye, my honey. I'm sitting in the corner, and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal, I'm gone. Well, we were running down the road, me and that bulldog, and I come up across a mud puddle. And I looked at that mud puddle, and I figured I might be able to make it. And I didn't know whether I could or not. But then I'd heard that you can do anything if you got your confidence with you. And so I looked back over my shoulder, and I saw that bulldog coming, and I figured that was confidence enough. So I reached out, and I lift, and I took a jump into that mud puddle, and I went plumb up to my ankles. Now, that's an Arkansas mud puddle, and you may not think that that's very deep, but then again, you don't know which end I landed on. Whoa, Lucy licked the ladle in it, down and rocked the cradle in it. Farewell, my Susie gal, goodbye, my honey. I'm sitting in the corner, and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal, I'm gone. Yeah, me and my wife, we lived in this town for a, a little while. She opened up a beauty shop, and I opened up a barber shop. We were doing pretty good, I guess, but... Then again, I didn't think quite well enough, so I opened up the uh, First National Bank with a crowbar, and while well, they opened up the jailhouse door for me and stuck me in there, but I wasn't in there for seven days when I broke out with the seven-year itch. Oh, Lucy Lick the Ladle in a dying rock. Cradle in it. Farewell, my Susie gal. Goodbye, my honey. Sitting in the corner, and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal. I'm gone. Well, you know, my mother in law, God rest her soul, she loved me better than the rest of her bro my brother in laws, because when she died, she left me a house and a lot, a dog house and a lot of pups. Well, Lucy licked the ladle in and down and rocked the cradle in it. Farewell, my Susie gal. Goodbye, my honey. Sitting in the corner and I guess I'm a goner. It's farewell, my Susie gal. I'm gone. I said, a farewell, my Susie gal. I'm gone. Now that song was written by a feller named Jimmy Driftwood. Now, you may not know Jimmy Driftwood as far as uh, a regular songwriter, but he's written over 200 or 300 songs. Now, he was a good friend of the family, close friend of the family, but he also wrote a couple of songs that you might recognize. He wrote a song called The Battle of New Orleans, and he also wrote a song called Tennessee Stud. Now, I'm not going to be able to sing those for you because, well, I'm running out of time this evening. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off with uh, my uh, uh, goodbyes. I'm going to say, hello and how are you? This is Shenandoah Briscoe saying, God loves you and so do I. Shenandoah said it. Have a Blessed day. Goodbye.